in store for you this week is a little project that I had to do um, anyways. This right here, we're going to be talking a little bit about music this week. It's a filler episode because we're waiting on parts for Faison's RM. This is a beautiful little gem that we picked up. This is a crate. It is a G130CXL. This is a wonderful, it's got two 12 inch speakers in it. It's an amplifier for my beautiful black and gold Les Paul style guitar. Now we'll talk about the guitar in a minute. This amp is something I had to fix anyways. So we're going to put this on camera this week. Uh, originally I wasn't going to film this. This is just something I had to do, but we might as well do it, right? Uh, let's take a look at see what we got going on. The problem with this amplifier is that it the volume does not want to work on it. It acts like It'll, it'll, it'll run fine, and then uh, you'll lose all the volume in it, you know. So let's take a look at this for a second. Look at these beautiful Celestian speakers. These are pro speakers in this amp. Celestian speakers in this. Do you believe it? I picked this thing up for 75 bucks. One speaker is worth more than 75 bucks. These are classic Celestian speakers, man. Really nice speakers. Uh, what we have to do is we're going to clean it. Now, I am not... <laughs> let's get something straight here. I am not an amplifier mechanic. I, I don't know a lot about this stuff. This is a little bit out of my realms of uh, knowledge. The only thing... I can try to do to fix this is clean up all the potentiometers, the, the knobs, the knobs and the buttons. And the way we're going to do that is I use this stuff. It's called a CRC and it's an electronic cleaner. Okay, if it dries fast. Uh, it works around plastic and everything, and and it creates, it, it gets all the junk out of uh, a system so the contact can be made properly, right? The other thing is, amplifiers are a little different than motorcycle engines. <laughs> motorcycle engines, for the most part, are harmless. You, there's like putting together a big jigsaw puzzle. You got gears and springs and gaskets and uh, this type of stuff. Amplifiers can be deadly. You got to be very careful with this stuff because the capacitors, a lot of people will be un unaware. They think they'll be safe just because the unit is unplugged. What they won't realize is that the large capacitors inside a guitar amplifier, uh, they still hold a charge. Enough charge to shut you off, to kill you. Okay, so we have to be very careful working on this. And I, I don't uh, recommend anybody working on this stuff unless they have know-how. There's going to be a very special way I'm going to be working on this. Uh, I'm going to be uh, very limited to, to what I get into. Okay, we're not going to open this thing up and start rooting around in there like we would a, a motorcycle engine. You know, we want to do a clutch, we rip this off, rip this off, and we get inside and do whatever we want. You can't be pissing around with this stuff. This stuff will hurt you. Okay, so we're, get, we're just going to clean up these knobs. Okay from uh as as external as we can okay and then we're gonna we're gonna try it so la, let's uh let, let's first plug it in and see what it's doing and then uh we'll go from there so 
Let me set this camera down. So the problem lies, I believe, in the connectivity of some of these. Now, it may or may not work. The problem is, it's unreliable. It's unreliable. Sometimes it'll turn on and you can play for 10-15 minutes without a problem and then sometimes it doesn't give you the volume yep there it is this volume should be a lot louder than that you can hear all this You hear that? This, right now, the way this volume is, this would be loud enough so the other people in the house would definitely be complaining. That level at 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 this at this uh, mark would be extremely loud, and you can barely hear it. So there, that's a problem. You can hear this. You hear all that? Okay. So that that's lays down what we need to do. I mean, this is not giving us what we need. We're going to go ahead and take this unit apart to a point and see if we can uh, clean up some of those potentiometers. We'll see you in okay, a minute. Okay, so we're going to take this out. And uh, this stuff, you got to be very careful with this. This is basically your amp right here. Look at uh, the size of this transformer. Look at this. The size of that block. All of that carries enough voltage inside it to shut you off so what we're looking for here okay well first we're gonna have to s s okay unfortunately I can't what's going on here That's not a good. That could be an issue right there. Look at this. What do we got here? That looks like a. problems any breaks what about all this glue yeah that's fine it's yeah. supposed to be there and these like capacitors yeah don't touch that 
These are the big capacitors. These are the huge capacitors. Yeah. They like generate the electricity. Those those hold. Yeah. Charge. They're like batteries, kind of. Yeah, they hold charge. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Is uh, let's go ahead and pull these knobs off. One, two, three, four. It's a special one. Put that right there. Okay, and all, the only thing we're going to do is, I am not very well rehearsed in amplifier uh, repair, so, huh. but I did get the CRC contact cleaner. Couldn't that get stuff on it and Well, this it? just dries fast, so. Oh, it's not going to ruin anything? No, it's made for this. This is exactly what it's designed to do and we're gonna hit every one of these what they call the fancy term is potentiometers all the knobs we're gonna hit every one of these and there it goes okay so let's start by Wait, could if you what happens if you touch that? Yeah, I don't know, but I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't mess around with that stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead. Okay, that's turn, turn turn that with your hand, Sophia. You see how hard that is? Turn it. Yeah. Okay, watch this. Yeah. Now turn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's like goop and stuff stuck in there. It's all from years. This is an old amp. How old? 70s? Yeah, it could be. Early 80s. I don't know. That's about the limit to what I'm going to do here because I am not getting inside that thing. How will you fix it? Right here. What I'm doing right now. This will fix it? I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to take it to a specialist then. Well, that would be the next thing. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it to a music store. Yeah, but see, th this is loosening every one of these up, which is good because the fact that they were spinning so hard is not a good sign. Look, feel, feel that the red one. Oh, jeez. That's that's hard, right? Yeah. And that's you. You, you got to think there's some contact issues. I'll try it. We gotta do every one of these. We're gonna do the switches. Okay, so one thing I found as we were looking into this thing, Sophia, and show them. Look at this. It's torn apart. It's torn apart. So we're going to go ahead and put a quick solder on this. Hopefully that's, that's what our problem is. Yeah, that's probably what it is, so just get the solder out.
Is the solder dried or oh. hardened? Okay. Jeez. Okay, so we found another broken connection. So we fixed that one. And moving along, we found, where is that guy? Right there. This guy right here. This guy right here. See that? That's broken too. So we're gonna fix that too. And I've been looking, I don't see any other broken connections. Okay, so we have rejuvenated our crate amplifier. This is a beautiful little amp, man. And that's why I got it cheap. There's two capacitors that were broken. We soldered them and this thing sounds phenomenal. So let's talk about the setup here. Look at this beautiful guitar. This is not a Gibson. This is this is an SX. You can see here on the headstock you got the letter S. And you got the letter X. I got this guitar from uh, Rondo Music for $199. Now the cool thing about this guitar is um, it came with the gold Grover tuners, which is definitely an upgraded feature. Um, this was on sale, but it came with the gold hardware and if you look back here this right here this is a set neck it's not a cheap bolt-on neck it's got a lot of weight to it this is a heavy guitar so it's built right um, I just had it uh, intonated from the local music store it's got some awesome pickups in it and uh, I think for $199 you can't go wrong and I love that color scheme that black and gold there is nothing more royal more divine than that color scheme right there black and gold there's nothing more uh, prominent than that it's a beautiful guitar. It plays really nice. It's been set up. Although I will say, uh, the music store who set it up, they didn't know I'm a, I'm a slide guitar player. So it's set a little low for me, but that's okay. I got other guitars that I can use for slide. I can still play slide on it, but it's, uh, it's not as ideal. It bottoms out pretty early. Uh, and then, of course... We got our beautiful crate amp that we fixed and uh, this has got the Celestion speakers in the back and it sounds awesome. It sounds very very good. I'm very happy with it. I paid $75 for this amp and probably the reason they sold it cheap was because it never worked right for them and they got rid of it and of course they told me everything's fine well I brought it home and I could never get it to run properly it would run a little bit and then it stopped and it makes sense because the capacitors were 
close enough to each other where they were making a little bit of a connection but if you bend those bended those wires out like this it would quit working but the wires were broken but they were really close to each other so they were making just enough connection to get by but anytime the speaker uh, the amp moved a little bit or something like that it would shake that connection and it would make a lot of crinkly sounds so we fixed it and uh, as you saw and uh, we're very very happy with the turnout on it uh, just very quickly uh, this is not uh, amplifier channel although we do talk a little bit about music here um, all the different things this amplifier can do it would be a probably a 45 minute show on its own so we're not gonna do that but really quickly I wanted to show you the channels here so here you have two inputs you have channel A. Now this is more of your heavy uh, rock tones uh, you can use for more modern style rock and roll. You have the gain. Uh, this is your gain. And uh, you got the, the three uh, tone shape deals. And then this one is your level. And then you come into channel B. This is the channel I really prefer. Uh, this has got much less gain on it. You have a three band EQ. You have an effects loop on this. And you have your level. Then you have a reverb. That's the only uh, one I'm missing a knob on it. Uh, you have an effects loop. You have chorus. The chorus sounds awesome. And then you have uh, a shape, uh, uh, kind of a knob for your chorus. So overall, this is a beautiful amp. And like I said, the Celestians in the back, they're worth probably 150, 180 bucks a piece, I would say, uh, new. And you're getting two of them. And uh, that's an upgraded amp. Now, I'm not a big fan of uh, solid state amps, per se. But uh, everything I own is tube, you know, my Marshalls and stuff. But man, for a solid state amp, this is a killer. It's an awesome, awesome amp. And this is not a modern amp. This is an old vintage amp. And you notice they make a point of saying it's got the Celestians in it. This is an old amp. And in the world of amplifiers, old is gold. It really is. So... We're very happy with it. 75 bucks, a little bit of soldering, and we're doing great. So, uh, that was uh, a, a real treat to play this amp. Now I can play it every day, and with my favorite guitar. You know, this is such a, such a nice guitar. I'm so happy with this guitar. And after the setup the, the music store did to it, it plays extremely well. And it sounds great coming through this. So that was our episode this week on Garage Groove. We we're talking a little bit of music. We got the RM parts coming very shortly. So we'll get right back on that. We'll knock that bike out. And then we have some new stuff in store. We'll talk about it next week. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for coming on this channel. We'll see you soon. Take care.